All right. Got a couple um, great comments here. Like this one from Spin Charm. It would help if you explained what you're talking about. Otherwise, your post is only readable to those of us that already know whatever it is. For the rest of us, it's just gibberish. Fair point. That's really good feedback. And somebody else had a similar uh, melodic, melodic ease 48. <laughs> anyway, uh, can someone explain to me what's going on? Okay, so. Um, Just, just some context. Um, this is just all started because I'm, you know, so, so I'm a startup guy. I did startups a long time. I've got a current startup going on now, a couple of years. Um, I did startups for 20 years. Um, I love adventure. I love going to uncharted territory, trying to set up a colony. I love to help people who are building companies. I'm an angel investor. I've invested in 50 or so companies. Anyway, I, I, it's, I'm obsessed with startups. It could be an addiction, it could be a problem. <laughs> Check out startups. You can read about startups on my blog. You can see that I've been doing this for what? It was 2007, so 17 years. I started writing about it. Um, now you haven't heard of me. You don't know who the fuck I am. But if you look at a lot of the startups you know, you'll actually, when you, when you dig deep, you'll see that I was involved with helping that startup grow. Um, Air bed and, so air bed and breakfast, you, you might know it as Airbnb. I, I was helping them a lot in the early days. Obviously, I don't want to take any credit from Joe and Brian and Nate. Amazing guys. They really pivoted my life. Um, I had the good fortune of meeting those guys. Uh, my very first day, we both got, we all got into YC. And so this is about December 2008. And um, walked up to Nate, introduced myself. And I said, what, you know, what are you working on? And he told me, oh, it's a platform people can rent out their extra couches or something, whatever it was. It was like couch surfing, but but better. I just loved it right away. Uh, instant friends, and um, um, so I particularly bonded with with Nate, who was their CTO. Uh, he was the best programmer I knew at the time. I really looked up to him. Um, just an amazing engineer, no nonsense. <laughs> Doesn't like telling jokes, uh, but um, just an awesome, awesome human being, and um, really mentored me a lot in terms of improving as an engineer and then Brian and Joe were fucking awesome uh, amazing designers like next level designers great customer service loved hospitality people uh, endless energy you just love these guys all three of them were amazing guys and anyway I helped them small small of it it was it was kind of important help actually if you look back on things and you read some of the stuff that they said in later years um, and I won't get into the details of that but but um, maybe if Y Commander says that I didn't help them, well then I'll drop some. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what actually ha happened in those early years. But um, anyway, sorry. Those guys pivoted my life because before that I thought startups were all about making money and that's how you measure yourself. But I realized with those guys, it's all about craftsmanship and building something you're proud of. You're proud to tell your parents about. You're proud to tell your family and friends and your neighbors about. Um, that you just truly believe in and, and it take, it's hard work. I mean, I was fucking terrible programmer back then. Uh, and it was, it's hard work, study and blood and sweat and tears to become good at whatever your craft is. And, and those guys started way before me. Like, we're, we're, they're a little bit older than me, but, but like, I was busy chasing girls and drinking beer and stuff. And they had been honing their design skills and their programming skills for years. So they really were, by the time they entered Y Combinator, they were awesome at what they did. And um, anyway, and I was not. <laughs> so I had many years of, of study and hard work ahead of me. Um, but anyway, so the, but the point is, you know, I did everything I could to help them out. I Airbnb my room. I got all my roommates using it. Brian would stay at our house and do like, he'd bring like newspaper reporters to do stories on what Airbnb is. and. Um, you know, we just promoted the hell out of it. We helped each other out. And, um, and, and I did that with all the other um, startups in my match too. Well, not all of them. Some of them I forget. But, but any ones that I could help out, I, I helped out. And, um, and it was awesome. And again, I got so much more out of my relationship with the Airbnbs because just in terms of how they helped me become a better human being. Um, and and I, don't, I, don't, I don't care about money. Like, 
they interviewed me. Brian and Nate took me out to, to lunch once at Brainwash Cafe. And oh my God. And it's just so funny because I was like, you know, is my startup going to be worth more than their startup? Who, who should be hiring? <laughs> who? Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, I did not join them as an employee. I didn't understand hospitality. Looking back, had I stayed at the Four Seasons before, and I didn't do that till later in life after I had gotten rich, but I would have underst understood something about hospitality and the joy of it and, and how amazing it is. Um, but I didn't, and um, this is so long that I apologize. But anyway, so I didn't end up working for them. I did my own startup, five years of, of slogging through it. We eventually somewhat figured out, we created some great technology that I still work on today, but um, got acquired by Microsoft, became an angel investor. That's my long story. Anyway, fast forward to the past couple of years, YC has treated me like shit. Even though I helped build a lot of their startups, I helped build Hacker News. I referred, I don't know how many thousands of people to Hacker News and people to, to uh, book uh, startup school and all that. And um, I just love that organization and I feel like I really helped build it. And they've treated me like dirt. They censored the fuck out of me. And it really pisses me off because of how much I've, I've just done help them. And so this morning when they, when they flagged this, my submission here, I just fucking lost it. Like, here I am. I'm just, I'm always helping people on Show Hacker News. I love to help startup people. I'm, again, I'm fucking addicted to it or whatever. I just love, uh, I love building things. I love adventure. I love going out into the wilderness to try to build a new colony. Let's try to build something great for humanity. I'm very appreciative and grateful for all the things I get to enjoy from the people that have come before us. I want to pass it on. Anyway, so I, but when I post my thing, you know, getting feedback, fucking why Commodore cens censors me. I'm not even allowed, they don't even allow any emails from me to go to YC Partners. Gary Tian blocks me on Twitter. Jared Freeman blocks me on Twitter. I mean, so many of these guys, they're fucking, they, they're mean. They're just fucking mean. And... And why are they why are they getting away with this? Because I didn't fucking demand equity when when I, I did all this free work for all of their fucking startups, and I got and I got nothing. So I've got no say, and you know I give my money away, whatever. I'm 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 doing fine, but but it pisses me off the lack of appreciation Y Combinator has for the batchmates, right? These partners think they're fucking. Midas, they suck relative to the batchmates, right? So, so fuck Gary Tan, fuck all these people. And again, again, I love all these people. As soon as they stop censoring me, um, we can be friends again. I don't hold grudges. All I'm concerned about is ending the fucking censorship, taking some power away from these people who use this power in unethical ways to censor, to block, to just rule, try to rule by fear. Fuck that. that that's just not right. So, so anyway, um, this has gotten really off the rails. Can, can anyone explain what's going on? So you get into YC, YC takes 7% of all these companies on average, right? There's just some negotiating going on, but, um, they, they only took 3% of my second company because I didn't want to do YC again. And Paul Graham was like 3%. He just, I was just, like, I can't refuse that anyway. Um, and then all of you, you help out all your batchmates for years and years and years. We're, we're, we still help each other. I'm still helping out people. And I get no equity in that. And that's fine. I don't care. But why, why Commodore it gets fucking 7% and they do the least work relative to the batchmates. So why don't they take 1% of that 7% and distribute it amongst all the batchmates or something? Anyway, just take less power from these partners who who have shown that they're, they're not doing anything good with this power. YC used to do great things for the world. They used to came, they came out with safes and startup school and used to innovate and hacker news. And and what have they fucking done lately? It's all secretive, book face and all this secretive shit and censoring and shit. And they need a fucking wake up call. We gotta stop giving these partners power and they need to appreciate that it's fucking people like me, it's the batchmates, that make these companies that has that have made Y Combinator what it is. It's not the fucking partners. It's the batchmates and the bats. So, so if they're not gonna fucking reward that and recognize that, if they're gonna treat batchmates like me or Aaron S, you know, um, then fuck them. Like, anyway, the the batch should demand it. So so basically, 
How it should work is you get into YC, YC takes 7%, about say 2% of that, say 20% of that carry, gets divided, gets put into a fund, and all of the people in that YC batch get equal access to that fund. So what, what is the effect of that? Getting into YC is gonna be a lot more valuable, right? Because now, now, sure, you get the 500,000, you get all the benefits, but you also get some carry and all your batch mates. You're gonna be more motivated to work for your batch mates, but most importantly, the, the partners aren't going to get all that power and they're not going to be able to treat people like they've treated me and treated some other YC founders who, who uh, and, and they're not going to be able to rule by fear as much. And, you know, like, I mean, I, I'll post some more stuff, but, but they do not take criticism well and they will retaliate, retaliate, even if you're trying to be helpful. So anyway, super long winded. Um, and I don't know if that explains it. There's, that's not a too long too TLDR, but there's my rant for the day. And <laughs> I'm going to get back to coding and building, but um, thanks for listening to my rant. Cheers.